Hello, my friends. It's Teacher Stefan here to bring you the rabbit suit rescue. That's a lot of words. The rabbit suit, like this, a suit and tie. Rescue, something being saved. Hmm, I wonder if you can guess what this realistic fiction story is all about. Before we jump in, <laughs> let me ask you, do you know the word costume? Costume. Careful. Costume. It's almost like a little ch. Ch. Costume. What is a costume? Look at the photos for help. <clears throat> well, there's a little girl dressed as Wonder Woman, a little boy dressed as maybe a dinosaur, someone dressed as a devil holding a knife. That's too scary for me. And a little boy dressed as a truck. Mm, I'm sure you've guessed it, that a costume is a set of clothes worn in order to look like someone or something else, someone Wonder Woman, something else like the truck, especially, okay, so really for a party like Halloween or a themed graduation or as a part of an entertainment like a concert. Take a look at these costumes Say them with me, and then tell me which costume do you like best. Superman. Blue, red, yellow, and a cape. Pirate Captain. With a ruffled, like this, ruffled white blouse. Long, straight, dark jackets with gold buttons and buckles a triangular hat, and of course, a sword or scimitar. Vampire warrior, <laughs> sharp teeth. Jurassic World dinosaur, where the costume sits above your head to make you taller. The Little Mermaid, one of my favorite Disney princesses with red hair. Mulan, my favorite Disney princess. Aladdin, another princess. The classic Tinkerbell, the little fairy that flies around sprinkling dust. Sleeping Beauty and Cinderella. Who's your favorite from the top row? Who's your favorite from the bottom row? I like Vampire Warrior and Mulan best. Now let's read. Look at the picture. It's definitely a costume party. A costume party where? In a school. Which class? Check the board. Five times one is five, five times two is 10. It looks like a Halloween party in a math classroom at a school. I see a student dressed as a koala bear maybe, and a goat, and some others getting ready. <laughs> it was the day before the class play. The young woman from the costume store brought all the costumes to school. There were rabbits, mice, badgers, and owls. Rabbits with long ears, mice that eat cheese, badgers that are black and white circles on their eyes, and owls. Hoo! Hoo! Mr. Orlowski told the children, please leave your costumes at school. 
If you take them home, they might get damaged, hurt, ruined, dirty, etc. Aha. Uh -huh. Can you see the picture of the owl? What about of the squirrel? Can you do the math? Five times one is five. Five times two is 10. Five times three is 15. Five times four is 20. What's five times five? 25. Joseph was excited about his rabbit suit. So the boy in front is Joseph and he will play the part of a rabbit. He wanted to take it home to show his little brother, Dan. But what did Mr. Arlowski say? Cleave leisure costumes at school. But here, Joseph is putting his rabbit suit into his backpack. That's not what the teacher asked. Something bad is going to happen. And here we see Joseph and Dan playing together a little too roughly in the rabbit suit. Do you think something might rip? At home, Joseph showed Dan the rabbit suit. Look, said Joseph, I even have huge furry rabbit shoes to wear. Joe lifted the suit above his head. He pulled it on over his clothes and then he hopped like a rabbit all around the room. Look what happened here. Can you tell me? His shoe ripped off. His nose popped off. No. Dan laughed. Ha, ha, ha. I'm going to catch the rabbit. Joseph hopped as fast as he could and Dan ran after him. He grabbed the rabbit's ears. Suddenly there was a ripping noise. Oh no, said Joseph. The ear ripped off of my rabbit suit. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Uh-oh, so what do, what, what do they do when something happens and they can't fix it? Daddy, 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 daddy. Dad came into the room. What's going on, he asked. Joseph told him what had happened. I was supposed to leave the suit at school, he said. Then he started to cry. <laughs> Dan looked worried. <laughs> well, if you make a mistake, even though you should feel sorry, don't lie. Fix your mistake. Tell your father, tell your mother, tell your teacher. Because the problem only gets bigger the longer you keep it inside. Make a mistake, fix it. Fall down, get up. Cry, laugh. Balance. Oh, and a big hug. Dad, Dan, and Joseph. It's all right, said Dad. I can mend the ear. Mend, fix. I can sew the ear back. <clears throat> then I'll wash the suit. Wash, 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 wash. And it will be good as new. Mwah. Thanks, Dad, said Joseph. I'm sorry. Next time, okay, last time you didn't listen. Next time, listen to your teacher, said dad. I will, said Joseph. And here we are, back at the school play the next day. I see the rabbit, a cat or mouse, a squirrel, a bird, and a badger. The next night at the class play, Joseph hopped around the stage. His floppy rabbit ears waved back and forth, back and forth. 
I think everything worked out in the end. When the play ended, Joseph hopped off the stage. What a fantastic rabbit you were, said Mr. Arlowski. And here's Joseph and his dad going for a hug after the play's over with all of the parents clapping, 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 clapping in the back. The audience, that means the people watching, the parents and younger children, the audience thought Joseph was great too. When he came back on stage to take a bow, they clapped and clapped and clapped and clapped. Can you see the grandmother? She's wearing pink. Can you see the sister? She's wearing red. Can you see the young brother? He's wearing yellow. And can you see Joseph? He looks like a rabbit. Dan, the younger brother, clapped harder than anyone else. Joseph is really clever, really smart to hop like that, said Dan to mom and dad. Dad is really clever to mend and wash the rabbit suits, said mom. It looked just like new. That night, dad tucked Joseph into bed. Thank you for mending my suit, said Joseph. Next time, I'll leave my costume at school. That's my smart little rabbit. <laughs> Laughed dad. This story is about a school play, a ripped rabbit suit, and a helpful father. Joseph can't resist. He can't fight the urge. He must, he must take home the rabbit suit he will wear in the class play. When it rips, dad is able to mend it once again. And after the play, after the performance, Joseph promises not to take costumes home anymore. What happened when Dan grabbed the ear of the rabbit suit? It ripped. The ear came off of the rabbit suit. How did Dan feel when he ripped the rabbit ear? Scared? Bad? Sad? Worried? Upset? Afraid? How did dad fix the problem with the rabbit suit? He fixed the rabbit suit. He mended the ear by sewing it back and then washed it, good as new. Dad mended the ear and washed the suit. What details on these two pages, pictures, right here? What details on these two pictures help you to predict to know what will happen before it happened, that something may go wrong with Joseph's costume. Well, picture number one, don't take the suit home. Picture number two, Joseph's putting it in his bag. Joseph's teacher asked the children to leave their costumes at school, but Joseph disobeyed. He did not listen. He did not follow the rules and took his costumes home. Did Joseph make a good choice when he took the rabbit suit home? Why or why not? Teacher Stefan, no, because he was asked not to. Some costumes you can take home, but if it's not yours, you must follow the rules of whoever paid for them. <laughs> Can you think of a reason why yes? Yes, because his dad was going to fit it even closer. No, because he wanted to play in it. <clears throat> and how can you tell this story is fiction? Look at the picture. Well, is it a real photograph or is it just a drawing? The story uses characters who are not real people. The story includes the words they say to each other. But this is not history. 
This is not something that happened in my country or anyone else's country. It came pop out of someone's imagination. Your homework is to write a paragraph. Try to get at least 250 words. So the costumes in this story came from a costume store. Think about how a costume store makes money and this is how you will write your paragraph. So, okay, a costume store buys costumes and then they rent them out. So let's say a costume costs $100, but every time they rent the costume out, they get $10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So after 10 rents, it pays for the price of the costume. And then every rent after 110, 120, they are receiving money on top of what they paid. If that's a little confusing, please ask your teacher to explain. That's just the first idea that I think of. Another one is maybe someone makes the costumes from old clothes. So the costume costs nothing and then they rent it out. Tell a family member about the story. Talk about something of yours that broke and how someone in your family fixed it. And that's the rabbit suit rescue. My name is teacher Stefan. I really hope to work with you again. That's it for now. See you next time. Bye-bye.